Ladies and gentlemen, mal greetings, good day, and welcome back to the bloodstained world of Let's Play, Franbo. When we last left off, secrets. Yes, indeed. Dark and terrible secrets hidden below, buried beneath that I stumbled upon by accident, the true colors of Oswald Asylum laid bare. Experiments, forced lobotomies, bad medicine made to look approved and good, children imprisoned in the basement, solitary confinement against their will left to starve. And soon, I could become the next, I am supposed to become the next, victim. But I won't allow it, oh no, because freedom awaits. Over there, the yellow gate, the entrance. Only one more room left that needs crossing. And then afterward, finally, at long last, Mr. Midnight, at the end of the maze. Of course, the devil is certainly watching, and he warned me, didn't he? Don't leave the asylum, don't leave the funhouse of madness, otherwise you'll regret it. But I don't care, anything is better than this rotten hole. Anything. But how am I supposed to make it past the nurse? Hmm, think. Think, think, think. I could talk to her, but I doubt it'll be a wise move. Do I have any options at my disposal? Hmm, perhaps the sleepy, sleepy cinnamon bun. Perhaps that could assist. But how am I supposed to give it to her? Just a friendly offer? No. She'll accept it, and then she'll send me back to my room. What about the crayon? Throw it? Distract her? I doubt that is going to work. Hmm. Maybe I need to, you know, maybe I need to enter the beyond once more to sneak my way past her. That could work. Hmm. But here we've got some coffee. Let's see, maybe this happens to be the solution to our problems. Hmm, oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I am at a reception already. This is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. Indeed, friend, the nurse needs to disappear. I suppose I could sneak up behind her and just slash her throat with a crayon, but that would be unnecessarily violent. Hmm, what about the picture? Baby Shaken Syndrome. Alright. What should I do? Hmm, what should I do indeed? I believe I can't even proceed further into the room without having distracted the nurse first. Hmm, apparently. It is the only option I got. The beyond. Don't leave me hanging now, I beg of thee. Beyond, as gruesome as you happen to be. Alright. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. It is a skeleton. A skeleton with some kind of red cord. And what could be at the end of the court? What could be at the end of the maze? As it says right here, Mr. Midnight. But what about the door? Hmm, this is an issue. The door chooses to disappear and vanish in the beyond. Replaced by a brick wall. Oh, don't be like this. You can't be like this. That is exactly what Mr. Midnight told me. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I can find my kitty. 
just gonna continue and trust the cat, because it really is my only ally in this. Fillmore chose to betray me. Hmm, the jerk. The keyholder has no keys to hold. If only the keyholder could talk. That would be rare. A talking piece of wood. <laughs> A talking piece of wood. I think I've met people like that before in my life. Hmm, what about this up here? Looks like some loose wires. Hmm, but nothing I can attach to them. No. Oh, this is kinda bad. Hmm, I don't want to be here anymore. Wasting time with the sofa, thinking, while my poor little cat is freezing outside. Maybe the desk? I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, she'll be so happy, I am sure, friend. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. Ah, oh, friend. She has not yet discovered the miracles of love. I don't mean, you know, parents love, but you know. You know, she is too young. Too young for that. Hmm. This is... Uh, this is kinda... Kinda troublesome. I know, I know, I am doing it on purpose, not examining the skeleton. Guess I've got no choice in the matter. Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. Why are you hanging up there? Are you a nurse too? Um, could be. I mean, all the other nurses in the beyond got turned into skeletons, so perhaps... Uh, what's beneath the blanket? Yeah, I wanted to ignore it. That the red cord goes toward the blanket. Some bloody stains and flies above. I don't want to see. I don't. I am going to regret this. Oh my god. My god. My god. That is not a fetus, but definitely some kind of underdeveloped baby. Ugh. Oh my goodness, are you okay, little baby? No. No, friend, it is not. Is that your mommy hanging up there? She might be. Do you miss her? I miss my mommy too. This is the grossest thing. Anything that involves children and babies. Oh, it can't get any more disturbing. It can't. And I am sure Franbo will prove me wrong. But goddamn. Is there nothing I can do with this room? There is nothing. Hmm. What if I turn off the beyond now? Is the nurse going to see me? Oh dear. This is an experiment. A risk I am willing to take. Hmm. Hmm. I can't move into the room. I can't work with the beyond. All I've got would be to talk to her. That isn't going to solve the dilemma though. But maybe, just maybe. Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. Hmm, what about the coffee? What about the damn coffee? Dump the cinnamon bun into the coffee. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Hmm. Oh, the note I have said something about this. Indeed, he did, friend. But I can't work with the panel as long as the nurse is in the way. That must be the security panel. How to make her leave? But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. How to get rid of her? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. It must have something to do with the beyond. It must have. But what? What exactly? Let me think. There are no keys here. I've got another thought. So. 
the security guard called her about the missing key, and she said uh, she would call him back if the key turned up. What if I put the key here, and then it'll appear in the normal world as well? Maybe that is what I am supposed to do? Indeed. And there you go. I hope the nurse sees the key. I am sure it will. And I am sure she'll be confused also. Oh, the key was here after all. Huh. I... I guess I better take it back. Yes. 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 She is gone. I did it. I did it. And now I am free to go. Hmm. I know this. My teacher told us about it. It's when crazy parents shake their babies. Bastards. And the babies bleed inside. Many die. Fran, you shouldn't even know. You shouldn't even, you know, be aware of such things. At your age? What the hell? And that is a real thing indeed. People often like to shake their babies around like toys. And then they die. Quite, quite painfully so. Those parents usually shouldn't be allowed to have children. No, 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 no. Hold coffee. No crackers. I want to go home. Yes, indeed. She is growing bored of this room. And I am too. Many folders and books. They must have a record of every kid. They sure say that everyone is insane. Indeed, they do. Because our lives don't matter to them. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Yeah, same stuff as before. Now what? So this, I assume, happens to be the alarm system? If I go out there, will they catch me? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was a close call. If I try to open the door now, they'll just find me, am I right? Hmm. Please enter a four-digit password. This must be the alarm. Of course. Yeah, the note said, upon entering the code, the alarm will deactivate for a total of two minutes, I think. So that's what I got. But first, what is the code? Oh, so many numbers and letters to work with. Give me a second. The next puzzle awaits. Hmm, I can't combine the two. Suppose that would have been too simple. Alright. December 17th and July 25th. I need four digits. What could it mean? Maybe... December... December 17th? I think... Do I need the numbers or do I need the letters? So entering... You know, pushing a button once enters the one. So I don't think I can work with the letters. But maybe... Maybe the months got something to do with them? Hmm... I am missing something indeed. Let's see... 17th and 25th. Maybe that is simply the solution? Nope. Nope. Alright. A little more complicated than that. Hmm... Don't give up, friend. Don't give up. Don't. Hmm. December 17 equals. I suppose the month would be 12, but then July, only 7, just 3 digits. Uh, what to do? This code is important, I know. I understand, friend. And I am trying to crack it. I am trying to crack it indeed. Let me think for a second. December. December, December 17th. Perhaps... 
Mm, perhaps? Perhaps, once again, I need to translate the numbers into the alphabet? One, seven... Maybe? One would be A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, G would be, you know... And then, two would be B. And the five, right here, E, correct? A, B, C, D, E. No. Hmm. I can't believe it. Thus far, up until now, everything has been rather easy. But this puzzle? This puzzle has presented me with a dead end. Hmm. July 25th, what could it mean? What could it mean, what could it mean? Perhaps, you know, perhaps the word and the number need to be treated separately? December could stand for something, and the 17 could stand for something. Hmm. December 17th. December 17th? Perhaps you, ladies and gentlemen, are screaming the solution at me already. Perhaps. But I want to figure this out on my own, no matter how long it takes. Though I think it might take a while. Mm -hmm. Fran, can't you be a little helpful? Don't got a zero to work with, unfortunately. What does it mean? What does it mean? It can't be that difficult. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel and reception. Alarm code. Hmm. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? July 25th. What could it mean? Perhaps, 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 perhaps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight. Maybe add up the letters and then add up the numbers. Hmm. One, two, three, four, seven. Eight, eight, four, seven. Could that work? No, would have been too beautiful. Too beautiful indeed. Uh, I can't believe it. I think for the next 10 minutes we'll be stuck here. Unbelievable. And here I thought I might finally obtain freedom. Finally at long, long last, but no. Could the beyond help out? Could it? No, not like this. I think. Ah, I'd forgotten all about it. I had forgotten all about how delightful this room happens to be. Uh, the clocks? I don't think those mean anything. But wait a second, I need more clues. And clues such as the word itward. Remember that? Itward? What the hell does that mean? I am pretty sure it might have something to do with the puzzle, but... Itward? I don't know what that means, I don't. Hmm. It what? No, 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 no. I can't work with that. I can't. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. In these disturbing chambers. You can see. I can't see. But what am I supposed to see? Come on now, 
Come on, you can't tell me that this is the end. Hmm, is it the end? No clues, no hints, no nothing? There were always hints up until now, but not this time? Or am I really just that stupid that I can't figure it out? Hmm... December 17th. I'll make you watch this, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. I'll make you watch it, because my let's plays are just like that. I could cut this out, of course. And don't you worry, if I can't figure this out today, the next time I am simply going to show you the solution. But I've got like seven more minutes to ponder. And you can ponder along, if you are not yet aware. Alarm code, December 17th. The 12th, maybe? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The other way around? 5, 2, 7, 1? I doubt it, but who knows? No. It must have something to do with the letters. Why else would they be there? All these letters. Though I am only in need of the numbers. Ah, there are no hints. No clues. No nothing. This can't be so difficult. This can't be. I've solved so many puzzles in my day. I've played like all the Sierra games. You can't be serious. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. I can't really see what has been, you know, crossed out either. Written over. Hmm. This right here results in two numbers. How difficult could it be? It can't be that difficult. Two numbers. I just need two numbers, goddammit. 12 and 17? No. The result needs to be one number and a second number. Uh, what the hell? December just makes me think of the 12. Perhaps 12 plus 17? And then July? 7 plus 25? There's not a thought. I am being creative. But the game doesn't appreciate my creativity. I imagine the solution is quite, quite simple, and because of that I am not seeing it, because I am once again overcomplicating everything. Hmm. Let's see. 12 plus 17 would be the 29. Right? 12 plus 17, indeed. And then 25 plus 7, 32. <gasps> I got it. Yes! Yes, I am the best, the best. I figured it out, ladies and gentlemen. I am not that stupid after all. I bested your security system, Oswald Asylum, and now you will no longer hold me back. Franbo is officially checking out tonight, and you'll receive my customer's complaint eventually. Have a good Day. Unbelievable, I did it. I did it. So, is the game over now? I mean, we left the asylum, what could be next, I guess, the forest. Finding Mr. Midnight. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So where are you now, Mr. El Diablo? Where is your threat? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, that doesn't sound good. I believe they've spotted me. I believe I... maybe, just maybe I was a little too slow. Um, friend, you should probably... you should probably make a damn run for it. <gasps> you little bitch. I'll make you pay for what you did. Oh, god damn it. The guard. Not you. Oh my god. I had hoped your fucking head would just come off or something, but no. Um, Fran, what to do? 
What to do? What the f You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? Oh no, Fran. Fran! No! What? It can't be. No! Mr. Midnight? I don't even know anymore. I need to get to the maze. Jesus fucking Christ. When I said... When I said that, you know what? I didn't mean it. Jesus Christ, the fucking devil just decapitated the guard. Did that really happen? Or was it just my imagination? Was he dragged into a, the devil's dimension? Is he gone forever? And how can it be that Mr. Midnight just managed to fend off the devil? The cat on wheels saved me. I insulted you so much I feared you. And how did you choose to respond? You saved my wretched life. You... you saved me. Mr. Midnight, I doubted you. But I will never again. You showed me the way out. And you defeated... the devil. Scared him off at least. However the hell did you manage to do that, doesn't matter. I am gone. I am so gone. Goodbye, Oswald Asylum. Goodbye. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Oh, there's the guard tower. There it is. Oh, the tower. I've never seen this fence before. I have to find the maze. Well, I have a feeling, you know, judging by these hedges, it might be somewhere over there. Oh, we are not out of it yet. Not yet out. There. Follow the cat. Just follow Mr. Midnight and see what happens. Oh, this is so mysterious. How am I supposed to get away from them? The walls, the fences, the guards. Oh, just trust Mr. Midnight. Everything will be alright, friend. Everything will be alright, sweet baby. We can make it through this. And into the maze she goes. <gasps> He's alive. Oh my. Once again, a new type of perspective. I do believe this is supposed to be a minigame of sorts. Navigating the maze. Oh, Mr. Midnight, don't leave me alone. Don't. Where are you going? Uh, what will I find in here? So the guard is still alive. What does that mean? Was it real? Or was it not? Just... Fran's imagination? Was the guard ever really there? He is not dead. Oh, what is going on? Oh my god. That up there is not Mr. Midnight. Hello there, crow. Not gonna fly away. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is some kind of ghost. An evil, evil looking ghost. Well, not really that evil, kinda innocent really, but... I don't think I should get too close to those guys. Oh, where are you, Mr. Midnight? Don't you abandon me now? Just because I was a little slow. Uh, this is kinda nice, actually. <gasps> no, 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 no. This is kinda nice. I am liking the change of pace and atmosphere. Yeah, the maze looks beautiful. Like, you know, drawn and cut out. I am loving... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I am loving the art. But I am not loving the creatures. Ah, there is a statue. Where are you, Mr. Midnight? Why did you lure me in here? Ah, at the end of the maze, just proceed. At the end of the goddamn maze, we will find salvation. Mm, this is a dead end. Come on, be brave, Franbo. Be brave. Be brave. Oh, this is another dead end. Just big mushrooms. And a statue. Don't know what they mean. <laughs> but I don't care. Away from the asylum. Away from the asylum. And never look back, Fran. Never look back. Oh, these must be the henchmen of the devil. They haven't given up yet. But I haven't either. Moving onward, and pushing ahead, pushing ahead into a goddamn dead end. 
bloody hell. No, 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 no. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy to navigate the maze, but goddammit. Just stick to the walls. Yeah, whatever sense that makes. Alright, we are getting somewhere. And past the countless ponds and flowers. Isn't this it? If I reach the end? <gasps> no, 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 no. Come on, down here, down here. Oh, please work. Please work. Please work. You can't capture me? No, 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 no. And here we've got something like a pipe? Could this be a pipe entrance? Through there? Uh, Mr. Midnight? Oh god, I don't have a choice. In there. Come on, friend. And in she went. At the end of the maze, you will find... The evil critters of the night. But she evaded them skillfully. They will hunt you. They will laugh. But there will always be a good side. Mr. Midnight. A cat full of nuts and bolts. Where are we going? Will always be your guide. Oh no, I lost the picture. And they took it. The picture of my parents is gone. And thus I lost the last reminder of them. In chapter 2, part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Ah! Isn't that amusing? Oh my goodness, that was close. Ugh. Through the dirty sewer pipe. But I managed to escape, didn't I? I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Here's hoping that they won't, friend. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. And thus we have entered the forest. How curious indeed. In chapter 2, part 1? Is the second chapter going to be that big? I suppose there's only one way to find out. My god. Look at this mountain of trash. There's even like a piano. What the hell does it mean? So much of it. Chairs and... Beds. Barrels and... Musical instruments. What the hell? Is this supposed to be their dumping ground? Well... I escaped the asylum. I escaped the maze. And now we must navigate the forest in order to find Mr. Midnight. Ladies and gentlemen, things are getting interesting. We are definitely getting somewhere. Until next time, I say. Until then, my name has been the Shadow Cookie, aka Cookie. I hope that you enjoyed. I wonder, what are the pills going to achieve here? Are they going to transform the outside world as well? How strong are those pills, really? And how did my cat manage to defeat the devil? I guess I am free of his influence for the time being. But how long is the safety going to last? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder.